Hi viewers, the video today will feature a really exquisite watch from Certina. A wonderful brand. Certina really is uh, one of those uh, underrated brands, but uh, they put out some marvellous watches and this one is no exception. Comes in a nice uh, recycled card box. And this is their latest uh, DS Action Diver and it is a real beauty. So uh, I'll just get this off and we'll go through the specs. Well, nice little touch. Quite an original idea to uh, present the watch on this felt pouch that's rolled up. Quite nice set. Good touch. Right. Okay, so the specs on this watch, the case size, it is quite large at 43 millimeters. The uh, thickness is 13.10, the lug width is 21 millimeters, and the lug to lug is 51 millimeters. It does, really does have a nice sharp sapphire crystal that's AR coated to reveal that beautiful glossy forest green dial which goes very well with the forest green ceramic bezel. Beautiful. Now this is powered by the uh, Powermatic 80, which uh, has the 80 hour power reserve. And it's also a very decent dive watch with 300 meters water resistance. And it does uh, meet the ISO 6425 rating. And not only that, you've got the double security Satina system as well and the screwing crown with crown guards but it has that magic combination of being a really dependable professional tool watch which has really which does also have really good looks as well quite dressy with the ceramic bezel and the glossy dial the uh, top of the bezel is polished just that edge there but uh, the rest of the watch does have a brushed finishing. But the sides are so well done, it has this sort of shimmer to it. It's like a brushed satin finish with that slightly shiny sheen to it. Just makes it look a bit more luxurious. Love that, it's really well done. And it, the brushing is done vertically and it really is superb. The bracelet is also all brushed, no polished shiny areas on it at all. Even the sides are brushed, but it really is a fantastic bracelet. Very solid, nice silky movement and a great clasp as well. It's all milled. Again, has that marvellous brushed finishing. Look at that. Impeccable, really flawless. And you've also got a really good diver's extension, which actually is a really good way of just getting a perfect adjustment to fit on the wrist because it locks into place very solidly. So if you can't get a really good fit from the links, then you've got that extra option here. And it's really solid. It's not going to come undone that. So it's just a on-the-go micro adjustment. Really good. Now I just want to talk about the crown because uh, as I've said before, I think the crowns are a really good indicator of how well made a watch is. I think that tells you a lot about a watch and uh, how smooth is the operation is and uh, just the actual feel and mechanics of the crown on a luxury well-made watch it should be silky smooth and uh, a buttery operation and this one really is that. It does remind me of the uh, Tagoya Aqua Racer crown, it's very similar and it feels even better. It's just perfect, no grittiness at all, just really glides open and then the pot is wonderful and uh, obviously it hacks and it's just a really nice big crown, easy to grip. 
and very smooth operation to move the hands around and the same with the date beautiful just all very tight and perfect really slick movement love that crown and it is signed as well now this colour really did uh, draw me in when I saw the uh, different options available on this new DS Action Diver from Certina they do come in black and blue as well and also a very classy looking black tan combination with the titanium case which really appeals to me as well I do love to look at that but this forest green a dark green it's not it's not a garish green at all it just looks wonderful beautiful combination with the bright white engraved markings on the bezel and then you've got the white printing and markers on the actual dial dark green and white is a lovely combination they've really pulled it off I think it looks fantastic and all those markers are applied onto that lovely glossy dial filled with loom it's just very very pleasing to look at the sapphire crystal is not domed but really does a great job of making that dial pop so let's check out this bezel action because that is very good too it's 120 clicks and really tight no play at all excellent lines up perfectly a very nice bezel on a very nice watch now you can see it's typical of these DS action divers to have this angular shape these straight edges on the crown guards looks really good very smart so we'll just flip this over look at that case back you've got the famous satina turtle there all very nicely embossed really thick chunky relief on that looks wonderful excellent now the price of these um, new DS Action divers is at the higher end of the uh, price range for Certina these currently retail for approximately $900 maybe a bit more but it's well worth it I mean it's in my opinion this is one of the best watches under a thousand dollars you can get the specs are just all top-notch build quality brilliant the materials used high quality and the design really well done as well very well thought out lovely balance on that even the actual typeface on the bezel the numbers I think it's a good choice that nice wide look reminiscent of the Amiga the one thing I would say that's maybe for me is a little bit of a negative is the size being 43 millimeters that is a big hefty watch with a lot of wrist presence which on the one hand is, is a nice thing to have um, especially knowing that it's very capable as a dive watch it's got a lot of high specs that make it a proper hefty tool watch but personally for me I do prefer a slightly smaller size I think this would have looked marvellous with a 41 millimeter case size I know they do the I think it's 38 mil in the um, in this series which looks really really good the only thing is the bezel is not ceramic and uh, the green they do do a green in that but it's a bit more it's a much brighter green not quite as classy as this green in, in I think anyway I do love this dark green it just I don't know it's just a bit more classy so if they did this in a 40 or 41 it would be absolutely perfect 10 out of 10 but having said that it does have a lot of wrist presence and uh, it's not particularly thick 
I wouldn't call it a slim dive watch, but it's not a thick one either, so the size isn't that much of a problem. Okay, so I'll just show you how that looks on the wrist now. See, the one good thing with this bracelet is you do get a perfect fit. I mean, it really fits like a glove. And yeah, despite it being 43mm, it's not overpowering at all. It is fairly heavy, but just feels so comfortable thanks to the bracelet. Yeah, I think that looks very special, really a lovely design. Okay, so uh, now I'll just uh, show you how that loom looks in the dark. Really good, super bright. Nice colour, do like that kind of loom. And that uh, lasts a long time. Not much to complain about there. Good stuff. I do really appreciate this uh, new design for the DS Action Diver that uh, Certine have done. The previous ones, um, I've actually reviewed one of their older ones on this channel before, a lovely deep blue dial that had. And uh, whilst I really did like them, the design was quite a little, let's say a little bit wacky. It was uh, very unique to them and um, maybe not as refined as this. This really is a very exquisite look. I think it has everything going for it. It's um, just so well balanced and uh, a very good effort. So I think they've done the right thing revamping it and um, making it just a little bit more subdued but uh, it doesn't lack in class at all and it is still unmistakably Certina. They do have a very distinctive look about them. Again this is one of those colours that uh, looks different in different lights. It's uh, At the moment it kind of looks almost black but then in some lights it's obviously a lush green. One thing I do love about a uh, design of a watch is when they, the dial and a bezel on a diver's watch has a really good deep contrast and this really pulls that off. It's got a fantastic contrast that's very makes the watch very legible and very pleasing to the eye. That bright white against the dark green is an absolute winner and I wish more companies would think about contrast when they design a watch. I think it's really important, especially for a dive watch. I think it's got to be so visible, so legible and this really is all of that. Right, I'll just uh, zoom in on that dial. Let's look at that beautiful bit of design in closer detail. Yeah, just look at that. The markers really are flawless and the printing super crisp. Really very sharp indeed. Marvellous. Look at that marker at 12 o'clock. Just absolutely perfect. Lovely crisp sharp edges and again the printing of the logo just perfect. Love that handset and that ceramic bezel just so well finished. The way that the markers are etched in there again just absolutely flawless. I can't see any dodgy edges on there at all. Same with the crown, look at that, absolutely mint, just lovely. Really love looking at watches like this in macro, it's just really pleasing to see the detail that goes into these and the craftsmanship. You see, you start to see why it costs that bit more. What an absolutely stunning watch this is, just uh, renews my love of this brand. I have had loads of watches from Certina um, and they never disappoint me. Really probably one of the best value brands out there as well for what they charge the actual build quality fit and finish and specifications of each watch really is hard to beat for value. Right well that is it for this one uh, not much more I can say this watch really does speak for itself. It is incredibly attractive, 
and very well made. And just a very classy, capable, all-round dive watch. So I do really hope you enjoyed looking at this one. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.